What's up, everybody? What's up? Afro Joe here. What's crack lacking? Well, you probably seen this guy on the screen. You might know him from Office Space Code. His name is Rob Livingston. And you probably know his sister, Jenny Roberts, uh, Jenny Livingston, Jennifer Livingston. And uh, she's a news, news anchor in their hometown now. You heard about the story, her story, where she got an anonymous letter from a dumbass name, Kenneth Cruz or something like that shit, saying that she was fat, gone to fat and overweight and all this shit. Now, I'm going to tell y'all like this, man. I'm glad that she's doing, doing the news because you don't see many beautiful, thick women thick women I ain't say big women I said thick women doing the news because one thing is man one thing about th some thick women that they're gorgeous man I don't see her as obese because usually people who are obese or so damn big that they can't get out the fucking bed that's obese right there that's Jabba the Hutt obese when they're so fucking big they can't get out the fucking bed but this woman is thickness, not fat, not, I mean, she's thickness, she's not obese. She's not like Jabba the Hutt, or Chocolate, no, 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 she ain't none of that. And she tells us she's fat, that she needs to lose some weight. Like, dude, she's trying to give you the news on what's going on around you. She ain't trying to be like, she, look, man. Cause you got look, man. If you don't like this woman, you could have flipped the channel went to another news channel. There's countless people like. Cause one thing is, like I said, you don't get usually thick women doing the news. All you get is like, uh, what was it? they said on the uh, the View this morning? Uh, who was it? Uh, I think it was uh, Joy. No, who somebody? I think it was yesterday. Or today it was like, yeah, yesterday when Joy said, all you get is these skinny, blonde-headed women. The host that does the news. And I thought, okay, you kind of right on that one. Just skinny, blind woman. Because you look at Inside Edition, you got Delvro Norval and the other girl <coughs> doing the Inside Edition. Plus, you got bitches on the news just skinny as hell doing the news now. And he's sitting up there complaining about this woman's way. Instead of you being stupid and calling her fat man I think it was unnecessary so the woman addressed this on TV on the, uh, the second second of October she addresses out there to the worst like I got a letter this guy's calling me fat I said this month is anti bully month and she's trying to say well this is this is the month where we don't start trying to try to bully somebody because that's wrong and all this and that and I'm starting to see when they story hit when the story hits I'm starting to see a lot of people calling her a bully like how you gonna call this woman a bully how you gonna call this woman a bully she was just an address she was addressing her issue with the nation she was sharing that with y'all she wasn't saying she wasn't cussing this man out she wasn't sitting there dogging him out. She, was, she wasn't sitting up here calling motherfuckers, bitches and hoes and all like that. And just talking all this bullshit. So how do you make this woman that was a victim that stood her ground and took back what was hers? How do you call that woman a bully while this man called her fat? Called her fucking fat in an email and sent this picture Sent this picture trying to tell her, you got to look like this if you want to be on the news. Why you going to send a picture of yourself fit and trying to tell you, look, you got to look like me. You got to look like me. And this motherfucker's a high, it's supposed to be a top lawyer. It's supposed to be a top lawyer. Now, like I know there's a bunch of people out there going to be like, man, I wouldn't do business with this man if he's going to call me fat. Man, he goes on national TV trying to apologize, but he doesn't regret saying it. He sticks to his guns by calling somebody fat. Now, 
how this going to look when you get fat clients are you going to tell oh I can't take your case because you're fat I said there's people with disorders people that's got genes where they where they, they can't lose the weight they can be healthy as a horse all of their lives they can work out ten times a day three times a day five days a week and still be fat there's a gene that does that there's actually people that's got a gene that keeps them skinny they can eat a shitload of food they can sit there and eat like all you can they can sit eat there and eat probably five plates of high stack IHOP pancakes and not gain a fucking pound there's people that's got anorexia and all this guy has did is sit there and call the woman fat and the people that's taking his side and calling Jennifer Livingston a bully y'all is fucked up wrong she's sitting up there trying to make a point and all y'all people can do is say oh she's a bully she's a bully she this and that oh yeah he a fat motherfuckers da, 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 da. how is she the bully I don't get it how is she the bully bully how does she put it? She say, man, I don't think we should. Like, she just trying to tell the guy. It's wrong for you to call me fat. I know I'm OB. You know I'm old, overweight. She addresses that she knows that she's a little bit big. A little bit big. She understands that she has a weight problem. She addresses it. And, uh. And uh, but this guy just then writes to somebody and say you're fat. Like if this guy's got, I hate if this guy's got kids and teaching his kids. Bad thing for him to do is teach his kids. Like if you see a fat kid, just call him fat as hell. Call him fat ass. Because it's bullying, man. You teaching your kids to bully somebody that's got a weight problem. You teaching your kids how to pick on somebody who is different. That's all it is. You, that's all he's doing is p teaching kids. Oh, it's all right to pick on somebody that's got a weight problem, got a, a different skin tone, different color, different blue eyes, brown eyes. He won't like when I first heard the story. He got a fat and he sent this picture. I was like, damn, he sound like Hitler. It's all oh, Alfred Joe. How you gonna compare this man to Hitler? Because this motherfucker sent a picture of himself to sent a picture of himself to this woman. Saying this is what you're supposed to look like. This is what you're supposed to look like for real. Now Hitler, now Hitler wanted a world where there was nothing but blue eyes, blonde hair people. Blue eyes, blonde hair people. That's all Hitler wanted. Now this guy sitting there saying, "I want you to be skinny. I want you to look like me. I want you to lose all that weight." I want you to look like me. See, that's what he's asking. The same shit that Hitler had. No, he's, he wants what Hitler's saying. Because <coughs> Hitler wanted blue eyes, blonde hair people. He wants skinny motherfuckers. So why is he criticizing? Like, I agree with Jennifer. Why are you criticizing me if you don't know me? If you don't know me, why are you hating on me? You don't know me. I can't hate on you because I don't know you can't hate on me because I, you don't know me that's all it is to it and I'm kind of proud that her brother Ron Livingston is stepping up and, stepping up and supporting his sister he is stepping up with his sister and saying I'm proud of my sister and I'm glad that she's this way and I'm, you know what man if she wasn't married man I'd probably be trying to hit that you know ain't nothing wrong with the thickness big woman like her man because like you said man you get one woman that's damn fine shit you definitely don't want to leave but uh but like I said man you just can't judge somebody you just can't judge somebody on the I just can't understand you can't judge somebody on the on the outs on the outside you can't judge them on the outside 
You don't judge the, the appearance. You judge the character, not the appearance. When you start judging the appearance, that makes you a hater. That makes you a bully. And this woman did not des deserve to get caught a fucking bully if she's talking about there's kids that's got weight problems and you're looking at me like I'm the fucking problem. She knows that she's got a weight problem. And she's a beautiful woman, as I say, man. She's beautiful. And she's got a bunch of people backing her ass up. And this motherfucker's getting a lot of hate mail. Like, I'm for real, man. I'm, it's going to get to a point where somebody's going to put a hit on this hit on, on this motherfucker's head. Somebody's going to end up doing that. If I was if I was him, I wouldn't have never wrote that letter. I would never wouldn't have wrote that letter. That email, whatever. To her saying, you're just fat. And then you're going to turn around and apologize. Oh, I'm sorry. But I stand my grounds on what I said. Motherfucker, only thing you... Look, for real, man. You don't call somebody fat, man. Not suspect the outcome of it. When you pick... Like Dr. Phil said, when you pick the action, you pick the consequences that come with it. So when you call Jennifer Livingston fat, you chose the backlash of the people. It shouldn't be <laughs> like I I just don't get how some of the people of the of today is backing him up. I really don't because he's bullying this girl by calling her fat. I don't I wouldn't call somebody fat now. Honey Boo Boo Mama, she obese now. Honey Boo Boo Mama's obese now. That's a bitch you can call fat as a motherfucker. And honey boo boo, she just a fat piglet. Those are people you can call fat all damn day, but her, she is for like I said, for real, man. To me, she's fine as fuck to me. I'll tear that ass up if she wasn't married. But uh, it shouldn't be about her weight. If you turn on the news just to see what happened today, yesterday, or the weather, the sports, the game plans, whatever. That's what the news is for. It's not all about the appearance of the person. It's about getting your information. It's about seeing what happened yesterday or today. And she was doing her job. <laughs> it's not it's it's not her job. Cause one thing she impressed me, like she impressed me, by just saying, "I know I'm fat. I know who I am, and I'm happy for who I am because I'm not gonna change myself just to make you happy." That's what I like about people, especially her. And that's how it is, man. I don't think this woman had to change for shit. And now, I, all I gotta say about this man is, like this. Key, uh, Kenneth's motherfucker is don't open your mouth you better think before you act man you better start putting your foot in your mouth cause you gonna find a foot in your ass and keep on bullshitting people and that's gonna be something I'm not threatening this man but, or nothing but if he keeps opening up his mouth and saying the wrong damn thing they gonna find this motherfucker somewhere dead Cause your mouth can override your ass and get you in a lot of trouble. My mother always taught me that, and plus my family taught me that. Never let your ass write a check. To, never let your mouth write a check that your ass cannot cash. Think before you talk. Think before you act. Cause one thing is, that like that's what my mama used to tell me and my sister. This right here, your mouth is gonna get you in a lot of trouble one day. And she was right. And I, I watch what I say. And I just sit there and do what I got to do. But I'm not going to sit up there and be like this dumb motherfucking writer email. You're a fat piece of shit. And I ain't going to do all that. Because it ain't my job to, to judge somebody's on his parents. My job, my job is, man, is giving you my opinions on something. I'm not going to force you to like my opinions. I'm not going to sit there and make you like my opinions. 
my opinions. But I want you. In, I'm not gonna make you enjoy my opinion. If you enjoy my opinion, fine, cool, subscribe. We can be buddies. Hey, what's up, dog? Whatever. But I'm not gonna sit up on here and call somebody that is fine as hell, fat. To me, she's beautiful. There's nothing wrong with her. She got some cute dimples on her. Like, yeah, she's beautiful. And that's all I'm saying. But that's how it is, man. This has been out from Joe Tan like a TIS again. Because you know what, man? I can never put, I can never sit up there and write a letter to somebody that's on the news or somebody that's out there say, you're fat as a motherfucker. You need to lose some fucking weight. And get all that shit backlashed on me because of what I told this person. Cause that ain't my job is to judge that person that's giving me my damn news or telling me what's go where's the traffic at or what's going on that is not my that's how it is I'm not gonna judge that person my job is to get if I'm watching the news I get my stories on what on what's happening out there in the world that's it I don't need to do nothing else but get the information I get from news even though I hate the media get from news and shit and bring it to y'all in my own words that's all it is I'm gonna put the video link that's in the in the description box like I said man <laughs> like I said all she said was she knows that she's fat she said this, this month is anti-bullying month she said there's kids that's overweight and I don't think by a person like him should be bullying a person like me. Like I said, if you if y'all was sitting there kissing this Kenneth Kenneth motherfucker's ass and you say that she's the bully, y'all are dead wrong. Y'all are dead wrong. She is not a bully. She just saying she just putting it out there on Jump Street. I got called fat and I think it was unnecessary for somebody to see me on an email calling me fat. I'm no, I'm overweight, but you don't have to call me fat and tell me I need to look like you. That's all she was trying to say. Don't bully me because I'm overweight. Don't judge me on my appearance. That's all she was saying, but this fucker wanted everybody to get on his side and kiss his ass. That's why you see a bunch of people calling Jennifer Livingston a bully. She's not a bully. She was the victim. She got called fat. Now, if he called her fat, man, how the hell is she the bully? That's the main question. If a motherfucker is calling her fat, how is she the bully? That is the one question. So when the kids getting so the so a kid like okay, so that girl that got raped by three different boys and there's 15 people around watching her get raped. How is that girl getting raped a fucking bully? How does that rape victim become the bully? Tell me that. A mother kills her baby because of Facebook. How is the baby the fucking bully? How is that baby the bully? That's all I'm asking. You cannot call somebody fat and say she's the bully. But I called her fat. That ain't right. That is not right. To call somebody fat and have everybody point the finger at her calling her the bully. She didn't even bring his name up. She didn't even cuss him out. She didn't even dog him out like that. Oh, he lives right here. He did, He's an attorney. No. But y'all dogged her out and called her bully. And she's got a bunch of people backing her up. But there's some people still calling her the bully. How is she the damn bully? That is the question that needs to be answered. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all it is I got to say, man. Because it's, cause it's pissing me out, man. Because some dumbass motherfucker want to sit up and call somebody a bully. Call somebody fat and get a bunch of people calling her bully. And I think that's totally wrong. 
but that's that's all it is man like I said I give props to her brother Ron Livingston Ron Livingston Stan, for backing her up man showing his love to his sister and I give her props for standing her ground and telling like a T.I.E. is but this Kenneth fucker Cruz this Kenneth Cruz he has been dubbed into dick of the booty asses he's a dick of the booty ass that's it I call him a dick of the booty ass but like I said man Jennifer Livingston keep doing your thing you fine as hell you better work that body girlfriend yeah. mm -hmm. work it well follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie subscribe to my channel Silo Junior 2 Silo Junior 3 follow me on Tumblr at Afro Afro Joe I'll put the link in the description box, plus the video link to the description box, too. Peace, love, and Afro-Grease.